Aspen Development Corporation's pre-stock offering. I'm here with Dennis Atkins, the CFO of Western Sierra Mining Corporation, and Roger Johnson, uh, a developer and owner of Aspen Development Corporation. Gentlemen, can you introduce yourselves, Dennis? I'd be glad to. Uh, my name is Dennis Atkins. I'm a certified public accountant. Uh, I have been a CPA for almost 30 years. I've uh, been involved with public companies, small public companies for the last 15. I uh, have been a uh, public company oversight board member and an SEC uh member uh, for a number of years. Uh, and um, I am currently the CFO, Chief Financial Officer of West Sierra Mining Corp. We are uh, uh, working with and partnering with uh, Aspen Development Corporation to uh, 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 help it uh, get into the IPO process, and uh, that's uh, a wrap. Excellent. Well, thank you, Dennis, for that introduction. And uh, Roger, can you tell a little bit about yourself? Yes, thank you, Todd. My name is Roger Johnson. I've been in the real estate development capital formation business about 35 years, and uh, have been involved in uh, a variety of different vehicles, including REITs and um, limited partnerships, and uh, a variety of mechanisms used to finance and develop real property. We are working through an IPO process as being the preferred method for Aspen Development Corporation to raise capital to enter into a variety of different projects, which would include new development, uh, new project, residential and, and uh, commercial development, as well as the acquisition and uh, uh, rehabilitation of both residential and commercial property. Excellent. Well, thank you for that introduction, Roger. Uh, the company, of course, Aspen Development, focused on distressed real estate, whether it be land, uh, commercial redevelopment opportunities or development opportunities. And um, can you talk a little bit about your past experience, Roger, with uh, your large development out in Hayden and the water rights? And, and if you could touch base on, on you know, some past developments you've worked with, worked on. Well, over the years, I've developed uh, approximately 25,000 acres of land in uh, both large and small lot configurations, uh, acquired and rehabilitated and resold. Uh, shopping centers, uh, roughly 200 rental units, and um, have joined with uh, Dennis and, and uh, Todd to further that effort in, in the context of a company that, uh, meaning Aspen Development Corporation, which can raise its capital through the, uh, the public market to expand its reach and be more nimble in acquiring some of the properties that we see as being the most beneficial from an investment standpoint. And you see this as being, as being a great market moving forward, correct, with opportunities, and, um, you know, from commercial. The, the opportunity is, is huge, and for that, uh, to, to further that effort, Western Sierra is bringing its, its assets, uh, which involve uh, not only mining assets, um, Western assets, or, or Western Sierra rather, owns a, a seven uh, gold and silver uh, mining properties, also uh, several hundred acres of development land, and uh, Western Sierra also owns uh, about $40 million worth of water rights that uh, are essentially being used as a, a, a credit enhancement and a platform along with its 1,500 shareholders to help in the, uh, uh, the process of taking Aspen Development Corporation public. Excellent. So a lot of security involved in these transactions. Obviously, um, you know, the 100-year-old company plus the mining company, uh, well-established lots of assets and a good credit risk in your in your opinion in your opinion Dennis <laughs> yes very good uh, and uh, Todd we are uh, we view this as a 
excellent opportunity for Aspen to uh, be able to have a vehicle to raise funds and secure capital for various projects, both uh, the short-term fix and flip, the longer-term uh, development projects uh, such as Pinion Mesa in, um, in Glenwood Springs. We look at this uh, as, as Aspen will have an opportunity to raise money as it goes forward, as it needs, tailored to each project. So, so it's, uh, it's, it's a funding uh, uh, scenario for Aspen that can be repeated over and over again once the vehicle is set up via the S-1, via the filings. Uh, Aspen will be a public company traded on the OTCBB, uh, and uh, it will afford Aspen's investors lots of opportunities to get involved and uh, hopefully make a lot of money. Excellent. Dennis, one question I have had come up a few times is, you know, IPOs, um, and I know you have extensive experience with them, can you talk a little bit about the risk uh, involved in, in, you know, I mean, the stability of the company, the stability of the industry in which the company, um, you know, participates in, um, obviously its owners, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of issues that need to be, uh, you know, due diligence needs to be done. But I'm curious about IPOs and their stability, what you think about the stability of this IPO, um, and if there's anything you can note on that. I'm sorry, that was a very long-winded question. <laughs> That's okay, Todd. The IPOs are are really uh, only as good as the people you have and the projects you have behind them. And uh, we have, uh, we believe, assembled all the pieces of the puzzle, if you will, to make Aspen Development a very successful uh, IPO. We have global a equity and capital. Uh, the uh, the company uh, Brett Reese. We have the securities attorney Bob Cashman. We have uh, Western Sierra with its asset base and its um, 1,500 shareholders that were that will become shareholders in Aspen Development. Uh, Roger's expertise in the uh, in the uh, real estate markets. Mine in the uh, public company accounting and auditing areas. Uh, we have the auditor audit firm lined up out of Houston. Uh, we have all the the pieces. So uh, obviously there's risk in every business venture and everything, but we believe that because we have all these pieces assembled, a quality team behind Aspen, that we will minimize that risk uh, and to maximize the uh, investment return f uh, for each of the, the shareholders. So moving forward, can you uh, talk a little bit about how it will look for the, now the shareholders that are contacting me, the, the proposed shareholders um, are asking me, okay, what's the next step? So uh, moving forward from here, what will that look like? What are the next steps in the process for them to get their shares in Aspen development stock? Todd, the next step will be, uh, we're, we're offering memorandum is being written right now. And that will allow uh, the, these current investors and new investors in Aspen to acquire shares in the IPO that will be included in the IPO at a discount off of that uh, anticipated market price. So uh, as, uh, as we anticipate having that offering memorandum ready uh, later this week or first of next week, uh, that we can sign up shareholders now even prior to it being ready. We can get a, a list of shareholders who are ready to purchase uh, and we can, um, they can get in on this unique opportunity to actually get in on an IPO uh, at a uh, very significant discount off the market and as soon as the S-1 filing becomes effective in uh, approximately four to five months, uh, they will have uh, uh, free trading shares that they will be able to sell and uh, will have uh, uh, made a very significant return on their investment, more than they are really making right now in the in loan, uh, lending uh, scenario. That is excellent. I know there, uh, there's a lot of excitement out there um, with these participants. I, I have a handful of registered users today that were asking me, you know, how, how do I get involved? What do I need to do to make my commitment? Uh, and as of right now, of course, I'm uh, you know, sending them out the email that uh, as soon as we have that memorandum ready, 
uh, we'll send that over. They can review that and then send in their commitments. Is that correct? How much money they would like to invest? That's exactly correct. They will complete the uh, <clears throat> the questionnaire and the offering memorandum. Uh, and if they have any questions, they can contact you or uh, or any officer in the company or Roger or I. And then uh, they can uh, make their investments, and they'll receive back. Uh, shares of uh, of Aspen Development Corporation that will be included in the uh, Form S1 that will be filed with the SEC in the next couple of weeks. Excellent. They'll have fully and they'll have fully registered shares when the IPO comes out. But in the interim, they do have shares of uh, already established Western yes, Smith stock, correct? They'll have they'll have shares of Aspen Development Corporation. Uh, in their hands, in their from, hands. Uh, right after they make that investment, as soon as we can get the shares certificates printed and, and send them to them. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Roger, is there anything else you'd like to add? The only thing I'd like to add is that this mechanism allows us to be nimble enough to take advantage of uh, distressed property situations, both land for development, uh, or partially improved land for development, as well as existing improvements, uh, residential as well as commercial, that otherwise are virtually impossible to take advantage of because of the, um, the timeline required to get conventional debt financing in place. We're, we're typically seeing six to eight months to close on uh, debt financing at this point. Um, some of that, of course, also involves the equity participation. But this particular vehicle allows us to go ahead and move quickly, take advantage of opportunities when they come up, and that translates to much higher returns for investors. I know the cash is king out there. Boy, we've gotten some of our best deals from those auctions that uh, you know need, you need cash down then and there. <laughs> so, yes, an amazing tool uh, to get the um, highest profitability for sure. Uh, is there anything you would like to add in closing, Dennis? Um, no, other than to say that uh, we are really looking forward to uh, um, uh, getting this started, and um, uh, things are being done right now uh, that we'll uh, we'll have anticipate having the offer memorandum uh, ready uh, later this week. So we are very much looking forward to getting Aspen off the ground and moving, and uh, look forward to uh, hearing from the investors. Well, thank you so much, Dennis, for being on the call and Roger for taking your time out. And uh, for the investors out there listening, we hope this has been informative. Uh, we look forward to answering any and all of your questions again towards the end of the week uh, here, probably right around August what, 8th or 9th. We'll have the memorandum. And yes. We had to be able to close this up. So uh, let us know of your interest and any questions you may have. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. And we'll see you next time or hear you next time, as the case may be. Thank you, gentlemen, and have a nice day. Thank you, Todd. You also. Thank you, Todd.